Well there guys, just back to the channel, just a quickie Just putting the dust coat on there You've got a good dust coat on there, so hopefully the next coat will dry so I've got a couple of fuck ups here A little bit there, little drops of water came out And same as here So I'm going to wait for it to flash off and try and sand it back But most of all we didn't go too bad Yeah we've got some stripes, but this is only, got to remember this is only the dust coat, what they call the dust coat Oh, hang on, I'll go change the pressure Yeah, I'm still using that shitty old gun, so it's not turning out too bad, actually, but yeah, I think it's dripping a bit of water. I've got a couple of water separators on the water separator on the compressor and one on the uh, actual gun, so yeah, we're just plodding along. Let's see how we go. It's got a bit better than what it was anyway, all in one colour, so yeah, just a bit of first coat. First dust coat, so but yeah, I'll put it back on the wheel so I could reach the middle of the roof, otherwise I wouldn't be able to be able to get to the middle of the roof. But yeah, that's patchy as well, but that'll get there. Um I did something else too. I had some old what they call holding crunch paint. I bought probably 15, 20 years ago, and I just sprayed an unprepped guard, um, didn't sand it or anything. And that's the colour it came out. So I'm thinking about painting the yellow one that colour. Um, tell me what you think in the comments, guys. Um, I reckon that's the way to go. Looks good. Something different. But yeah, definitely a lot of work. And yeah, all, all the little floors are starting to show up now. More bubbles there. Must be coming out the gun, I think. So what I'll do is I'll uh, I might wrap something around it. But, yeah. Alright, guys. Thank you.